What's going on, Reject Nation? Greg Alba here. We are wearing our headphones so early. What are That's you doing? Style. Yeah, I just followed you, actually. I was like, I can't hear Greg. I'm in the crowd. This is Megan McNulty, people. You might have heard me talk about her already in some videos. Go check out her channel, The Tiny Tutor. She is a tiny, tiny human being <laughs> with tutoring skills for your children and for you to be a better parent. I like that description. Yeah. I am a tiny bean. I'm 4'11". 4'11 and, and a half. Is that legal little person? It is not, and I am, I've been asked that many, <laughs> many times. You've done the research, have you? It's not. Like, I think it's like 4'8", or I don't know. Okay, it's not. Cool. It's not my height. Good, good, good. I mean, it wouldn't be bad either, but, but you know. <laughs> or it's not like I'm see. racist <laughs> against little people, yeah. There's this new movie out called Papillon, which stars Rami Papillon. Malek. He's so amazing. Charlie Hunnam. Two TV show stars coming together. Let's see the updated, modern, gritty version that of it. Right. Yeah. He always does that voice. This is a frame up. Hey, Poppy, I'm right. That money, get some. Never escape without it. Who we they got? Guy's a millionaire. Won't last long. You got a lot of eyes on you, my friend. For a little bit of that money you're carrying, I could keep you safe. <laughs> Whoa! Oh Whoa! Keep me alive. I'll underwrite any escape you can arrange. Something tells me you can be quite savage. Uh. You are the property of the penal administration of French Guiana. There's no way off. There's always a way. I know many of you are thinking about escape. This is your best chance. Feel free to try whenever you like. I'm to go with you. There are two guardians who are always on duty. Bush, or well, the best thing that can happen to you is starvation. Or you could choose to see. What's it going for? That's my friend. Where the sharks are always on duty. If you manage to survive your first attempt, you'll get two years in solitary. Sentence at Devil's Island. Strange things happen there, especially to those who bring to hope. This looks crazy. Too intense for you? <laughs> no, I mean, I got some tears in the back. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean... I got some serious nipple chills from that. You, you say that. <laughs> it's about not being in, but getting out. And do they get out? Like, it felt like there were like seven escapes. Now, like, having not seen the, the original. I saw the original movie, which starred Dustin Hoffman and Steve McQueen. I saw it when I was a little kid. Oh, you've loved them since you were a little boy. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I was once a little boy, yeah. You it's did. your mom and you yeah, coming out, mom, right? I'm thinking about a little right boy, now. yeah. Oh, Greg was a little boy. Greg was a little movies, boy. Yeah. Watching cinema. <laughs> That, okay. that, anyway. This has created a dynamic. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Right so I, I don't remember the original that well. I just remember it's a prison escape movie. And uh, I just remember Steve McQueen suffering a lot in that film. It doesn't seem too far off from in terms of plot points. Okay. They just keep trying to escape and Steve McQueen just keeps getting caught and he just keeps suffering. He's talking about here's what's going to happen next. Here's going to happen next. And the, the trailer's kind of showing you a lot of those plot points. Yeah, you get put in solitary confinement. You get starved. You go crazy. The biggest difference I notice about this trailer as compared to my vague memory of the original. Okay. This sim seems like it, it's taking a much bigger approach in terms of the emotional tone. The haunting experience yeah. of Which is what I connected there. to. Yeah, it seemed like putting you in the emotional state of those characters. I know it's common for people to hate the idea or the concept of a remake. But this one seems like it's probably offering something different, which is a more 
psychological deteriorating yeah. experience, like a haunting experience, a visual aesthetic that feels very different than the older one. Okay. The older one has got it like really relies heavily on like, you know, watching Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman do a great freaking job of their performances. Which clearly they are too, but you have this backdrop, like you're saying. Yeah. It's kind of funny to see like Charlie Hunnam taking up the role of Steve McQueen because Charlie Hunnam's not the most respected actor. <laughs> and Good point. Steve, and Steve McQueen is like a legend. Is, uh, <laughs> you know, so to have Charlie Hunnam in here, I, I can wonder if there's a backlash with that. Mm -hmm. But he looks like he's doing a good job. I feel like Rami Malek is probably going to be the one who oh steals the God, show in terms of performance, you know? I mean, I instantly connected. Yeah, that juxtaposition of the of the gorgeous backdrop and then the, the penal system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's what's funny. So that Devil's Island, the funny quick story, my husband is a Marine and when he was in Marine boot camp, um, they called it uh, Devil's Island. Really? Where he trained the main guy, a drill instructor, would be like, the only way off this island is through my parade deck. Meaning like you can't get, you try to get out, you're mm. going to end right back in. Seems similar you to that. You will not get out. It's almost yeah. like in he the only way to get out is like through your own head or something. Man, this journey looks rough. It looks like a rough thing to sit through. This feels like it could be unsettling and uncomfortable, which is like a, a kind of movie I couldn't enjoy. The character experiences look good. I connected right from the beginning of like, well, what happened and what happened to her? And like, what's that yeah. backstory? I mean, that's probably his motivation to get off. Well, of course. I don't but know if I that's want, in yeah. the original. I, I don't remember. Yeah, I wouldn't ask you that. Yeah. Mm. I like movies that are like haunting, but have a beautiful cinematography. <laughs> you know, like yeah. that, and that's kind of the vibe it's I get. To look at. Like this looks really pretty, but also kind of unsettling as hell. With amazing performances, apparently. I think the biggest obstacle to overcome with any it, is is gonna be Charlie Hunnam's yeah. performance, because to match the caliber of a legendary actor like Steve McQueen, when Charlie Hunnam doesn't have the greatest reputation. I mean, he's got the build. Yeah. You know, he's sexy. He's sexy. I kiss him. That's all I do. <laughs> um, well, you guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Yeah. Yeah, just, you know. Click notification bells. And hey, if you're a parent who is uh, stranded in a prison, but you want your kids to learn stuff, have them watch the Tiny Tutor YouTube channel. Check it See out. See how I made it all come full circle? It's so seamless. Eight years of improv will teach you how to do that, people. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good I taught him stuff. everything he knows. Everything I know. Not See? Really. Yes and. Not really. Yeah. yeah. Just say yes. Yeah, just yes and it, would you? All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.